Good morning. Well, if you're an NBA fan, you probably saw the article yesterday about Ja Morant, the incredibly talented but also troubled point guard of the Memphis Grizzlies. Yesterday, he was suspended by that team because he posted a video of himself driving a car, wielding a gun around, and singing to some rap lyrics. Now, that may seem like a pretty stiff penalty, but this is the second time he's done something like this. Back in March, he was at a club. He was somewhat inebriated. He was wielding a gun around and posted it on a video. At that time, he was suspended. He went into counseling. He promised that he would do better. And yet, here we are again two months later. He's a troubled young man who has got lots of money, is surrounded by some bad influences, and who has a lot of friends who are trying to help him out. In fact, it was his friend yesterday that caught my attention more so than the issues with Jaw. One of those friends, A.J. Brown, posted a tweet, and he said this, You all better stop letting this music crash you out. Half of them are lying anyway. Well, that's probably true, but the second half of his post was what really caught my attention. He said, you are what you consume, what you watch, what you hear, and who you are around. You are what you consume, what you watch, what you hear, and who you are around. I confess I, I'm not a Philadelphia Eagles fan, I'm not an A.J. Brown fan, but I looked him up, and sure enough, he's a Christian. Very wise words from a very young man, about the same age as Job, but making some very different choices. So the question for all of us is, what is it that we are consuming that is driving the choices that we are making every day in our life? Well, the Bible has some things to say about this. In Psalm chapter 1, the psalmist says this, Blessed is the one who does not walk in the steps of the wicked, but whose delight is in the law of the Lord, who meditates on it day and night. The part of the answer is, who are you walking with? And part of the answer is, what are you thinking about? And the psalmist says, Walk with those who are good and meditate on the law of the Lord. Paul says it a little bit different way in the New Testament. He says in Ephesians 5, be filled with the Spirit. Well, what's the benefit of being filled with the Spirit? Later on, he tells us the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness gentleness, self-control. You don't find yourself in a situation where you're under the influence, waving a gun around when you're in self-control. So we all pray that John Morant will get the help that he needs, that he will be surrounded by good Christian influences like A.J. Brown, and that he will come to the realization of the changes he needs to make in his life. But for most of us, we have nothing we can do about that. There's no influence we can provide in that situation. We can only think about our own situation and those who are around us. Who are we associating with? What are we watching? What are we listening to? What is it that we are filling ourselves with? This week, think about your consumption habits. Think about the things you're filling your mind with and what impact it's having on your life and make the changes that are necessary. Just as A.J. Brown says, most of those folks are lying to you anyway. Have a great week.